this is Zonafan. What is up guys, this is Zonafan back at it with another LEGO Star Wars mock showcase video. Finally, I know. And in today's video, I have a project to show you that has been in the works for far too long, which means that I've taken a bunch of on and off breaks, but when I had the time, I did my best to put in the hours to make this creation the best that it could be. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. And here in all its glory is my custom MC70 Star Cruiser, done in the micro scale, of course, to conserve resources. But without further ado, I'm gonna give you a quick breakdown of what really went into creating this Star Cruiser. The inspirations I took along with where I think it could fit in to the Star Wars canon. When it came to designing the MC70 and just its overall look, one big inspiration I had, at least in the early days, of of me trying to build this was surprisingly enough the MC-75. The MC-75 was prominently featured in both Rogue One A Star Wars Story as well as more recently Star Wars Squadrons. And one area in particular on this cruiser that really starts to show that MC-75 inspiration is along the mid to rear section of the cruiser. And I guess one more MC-75 inspiration I have to throw in here is is the frontal hangar bay as well as the spire which instead of being on the mid to rear section of the ship on the MC-70 it is on the bow section and more on that later in the video but when it comes down to the most prominent inspiration behind the MC-70 one Mon Calamari cruiser of old that I wanted to really evoke the design and aesthetic of with this custom one would probably have to be the MC-80 home one type of variant, which can be seen in Return of the Jedi. But besides that, I think it really just came down to me figuring out what bits and pieces of previous Star Wars ships that we've seen would cobble best into a custom Mon Calamari cruiser. And that was probably the real challenge. And also figuring out what could be translated best into the Lego brick format. And just because this is going to be more of an in-depth breakdown for the MC-70, I thought I'd also throw in a little bit of backstory and lore. So without further ado, let's begin to tell the story of how the MC-70 went from just your standard average galactic star cruiser to a New Republic warship. Like most other Mon Calamari cruisers of its time, the MC-70 most likely in its early days would have filled the role of a civilian star cruiser before it was converted into a warship during the Galactic Civil War era. Eventually, a few of these MC-70 cruisers were picked up by the Rebel Alliance and they were refitted to better take on the best of the Imperial Navy. The Rebels worked in secret with various Mon Calamari engineers to produce three battle-ready MC-70s. In their modifications, the Mon Calamari people were able to improve the overall strength of the MC-70's hull, along with adding more guns, improving the power of the shields, as well as allowing the engines to produce more thrust. The underside of the ship also received a open space to fit two powerful turbo laser cannons as well as some ion cannons when broadsiding capital ships. I think the part of the MC-70 that probably got the most love during its modifications by the Mon Calamari people would probably have to be the frontal bow section, which received heavy armor plating as well as a separate command module and more powerful thrusters to almost act as a blade when crashing through Imperial defense. Fences. When compared to an Imperial Star Destroyer, the MC-70 is about one and a half times bigger than your standard Imperial Star Destroyer. And for all of those math nerds in the video, here is a rough guesstimate, but obviously it is, it's a fan creation, so it's not going to be entirely accurate. And after I did that complex math equation, I then went on to actually give each separate MC-70 cruiser a name. The first one, which is also the most prominent and well-known within the Rebel Alliance, is the Valorant, with 
the other two being the Shio and the Dreyfus. Now, despite being one of the lesser known Mon Calamari cruisers within the Rebel Alliance, soon to be the New Republic, the MC-70 still did its job, whether it was servicing a full squadron of starfighters, the wounded, or punching a hole in Imperial defenses. Now, for those of you still watching the video, I also had a little bit of time and a little bit of Lego bricks left over to make this relatively small and pretty unsuspecting little support ship. And it is not in any sort of relation to the MC-70. I thought I'd just make this little one on the side just because I could, and I also kind of wanted to. I mainly put this build at the end of the video because I didn't want to distract from the spectacle that is the MC-70. Overall, I still think that it's a pretty decent build all around, despite its pretty common appearance. But anyways, guys, that is gonna do for the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to drop a like on it if you enjoyed it and want to promote my content along with subscribing to this channel with notifications on so you don't miss out on any future LEGO Star Wars content. And in the comment section down below, let me know what you thought of this video, the style, and also the mocks shown within it. And right now, be sure to also follow me on Twitter. I'm trying to be more active on there and also join my Discord server. Links to all of those are in the description. Check them out right now, please. All right, that is gonna do it for me here, guys. I will see you all in the next one. Remember that this is Zona Fan signing off and the Force will be with you always.